Hi everyone, and welcome to another bass singer vocal analysis. Today we are going to be checking out and breaking down um, Enemy, originally by Imagine Dragons, of course, and this is Voice Play's cover of this featuring Alexa. All a cappella for anyone who has not seen Voice Play or knows about them. I'm sure most of you watching my channel already know a lot about Voice Play from these videos I've made. This is one I wasn't sure on doing, and for a while I kind of put it off because I also have a cover of Enemy coming out. Um, this the the music video that I raised twelve thousand dollars for that's all wrapped, and I'm kind of waiting on the first edit. But then I realized, a it's not a competition for one thing, and b Voice Play's version is a cappella, and mine is not. Mine is a very different style. So, um, in that way, it's nice to be able to look at these two projects of the same song and you know view them and judge them completely differently. And I love love, love voice plays version of it. I think they did a really phenomenal job. I think it's a really tough song to pull off a cappella. And I mean, you can hear that here. I mean, the, the sound effects that Lane uses, the, the bass that Jeff has to do to kind of pull off of the vibe of this song is really remarkable and they do a fantastic job. So they deserve some coverage here. I know there are plenty of reactions out there, but I tend to go a bit more deep into the analysis side of things. So that's what we're going to be doing today. A lot of things to talk about. Um, if you enjoy these videos, guys, as always, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you are getting a lot of insight, if you're learning a lot from these videos, if you're really enjoying your time spent with me here, consider joining my Patreon family for as little as $1 a month for some awesome benefits. Now, as you know, Mid-May through mid-June is all Bass Gang stuff, so I'm not sure if, when I'll release this one. Probably right after those projects wrap. But I wanted to get a jump on this when I have a few free hours. So without further ado, guys, actually, I gotta snag the Pit Vipers. BRB, give me five seconds. All right, got them. Because Jeff does some crazy bass in this cover. So yeah, remember guys, this is a vocal analysis. Now I will still be reacting some because when I do these, I'm listening more in depth. I'm hearing things I haven't heard before, but primarily this is an analysis. That's why this video will probably be nearly 30 minutes long. I highly suggest going to watch the original anyway, but if you just want to watch it straight through, go watch the original because I will be pausing quite a bit, most likely. Without further ado, let's jump into this awesome cover by Voice Play. Alright, down to F sharp 2. So, this is an intro not in the original, of course. Um, there is an introduction taken in the introduction to the show, Arcane, um, that actually I used for my cover, but they made their own intro. So they just made up this little vocal part. Um, nothing too complicated. It's all on ooze. And as I've talked about before, the ooze valve blends really nicely. So they have kind of a little chamber choir moment here before they get into the actual song that they're basing this cover off of. So let's just hear that again. Jeff just goes down to an F sharp to, you know, do just barely starting to touch into that low bass range. Up to the sounds of the silence that allows for my mind to run around with my ear up to the ground. I'm searching to behold the stories that are told when my back is to the world that's smiling when I turn. So Jeff's mostly highlighting. I think it's going back between G major and F sharp major. Um, the chords there. Do. So Jeff's just highlighting that that bass line. Yeah, so we're going back between G major and F sharp major. Um, this is really, you know, they start this cover really bare bones, and I think it's uh, it's an interesting choice because I mean the there aren't that many elements happening in this part of the original song, but you do still have like brass hits, and you still have. They like have really hard attacks at the start of each measure, basically. And the original totally starts out more intense than this version. This is more stripped down. Um, you can hear each part very clearly because there's not a whole lot going on. Um, I especially want to just flag 
Lane's beatboxing in this section because it's very sparing, but he's doing a lot of his kind of signature Lane sound effects. Um, and then, of course, we have Ellie starting out on the lead, and Ellie's voice, as you find out later in this cover, and you can hear now, is a really, really wonderful voice to be covering the lead singer of Imagine Dragons. He's got that rock belt, he's got those crazy high chest notes, um, and it works out super, super well. Also, they did a wonderful job with the video here. Um, it's very likely that down the road I will do some kind of compare and contrast between this version, my version, another cl uh, close uh, friend of mine has a version coming out. Maybe like a whole mishmash of all these different versions of Enemy because it'd be really interesting. But I'm not going to talk too much about their video right now because there's so much interesting content vocally that I want to talk about. Um, but as you know, they're all portraying characters from the show, which it's one of my favorite shows of all time. And um, of course, they've got some cool background and this is they filmed this in separate locations from Alexa, which of course I'm used to with the base gang. Anyway, enough about that. This is really going to be a vocal analysis. So just if, if you don't hear me commenting about the costumes in the video, it's because I need to devote this whole time to the voice. Um, but let's go back. So of course, Ellie's lead and Lane's perk and then Jeff just highlighting that bass. Of the silence that allows for my mind to run around with my ear up to the ground. I'm searching to behold the stories that are told when my back is to the So Lane's going back and forth between like actual these like drum sounds like <laughs> but then he's putting in like these little aspirations. <sighs> like these little um kind of an aspiration is you know like a quick exhale essentially. Um the vocal folds don't come together to, so there's no pitch, but there's an ex it's like a uh yeah, like a well, what uh, an aspiration, an aspirate, uh, aspirate consonant, aspirate uh, syllable. So he's like, <laughs> like kind of like that. Um, super interesting, and like I said, keeping it very bare bones. But uh, let's keep going forward. I also one thing about the video, I do love how they in Alexa's part they've got her speeding up and slowing down, and she's in a very cool environment. There's a lot of choreography and. There's, it's a very cool video. Wor worth worth uh, doing another video just to talk about the video. Up to the ground, I'm searching to behold the stories that are told when my back is to the world that's smiling when I turn. And it looks like just in that section, we've got Alexa and um, Caesar doing a little duet there on. Ooh -eh, ooh -eh. They're like just kind of they're 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 both doing the same syllables, and I think going in, I'm not going to go back and check. Maybe there's a little bit of harmony happening. Um, but again, nothing, nothing complicated yet. So this is, of course, Caesar in his head voice. So from a B4 down to an E4, all in his head voice, keeping it very light. Nice. Oh, and I got to flag that little bit from that little run from Jeff. Something like that. He starts up on an F sharp. He goes, he starts way up there. Wait a second. God, that's that's a that's a you you would never notice that unless you're paying close attention how high that starts. The stories that are told when my back is to the world that smiling when I turn. Mm, mm, dum, dum, dum. Yeah, it's it's covering almost uh, almost two octaves there, I think, in a, in quick succession. Little use of that text. You're the great. This coming off those held chords, they go back into highlighting the text that Caesar's saying. Yeah, guys, a lot of pausing. A lot of pausing happening here. I hope you're ready for a deep analysis. Okay, a lot going on here, obviously. Um, crazy subs from Jeff. G1s and F-sharp ones. 
Uh, I will throw him a pit viper when we come back to this. Uh, really exceptional. Again, it, it's a tough it's a tough piece to pull off acapella, and you've got to have a bass like Jeff that can really crank those subharmonics, and you of course have to have really crisp mixing engineers too to make it sound full. You know, this would sound very different if it was those if it was these five performing live in a room with no mics. It would sound very different. You've got to have high quality, high level production to pull off this kind of song a cappella. Uh, I love Alec Alexa's voice is really lovely for this lead. It's a nice, I love how she and she and Ellie really take the kind of high belting for the most part. Um, and of course I love the Jinx outfit, which also <clears throat> made an appearance in my video in a slightly different way. Um, let's go back and listen to that. Jeff, let's give our boy Jeff some pit vipers here. But once here we go. you turn, they hate us. Ah, oh, the misery. Everybody wants to be my enemy. I spare the sympathy. Everybody wants to be my enemy. So Alexis' voice, it, it remains in the middle and low. It remains just ever so slightly breathy, just part of the style. You can tell she gets up higher in her chest range. The vocal folds really want to come together and create that, that much more pure sound, that much more efficient sound that has a lot more high harmonic content. That's what's going to cut. That's the sets where you get that brightness. You get that brightness from vocal fold closure. And you really hear it in her voice as she goes up to this uh, high B here at the, at the end of this little solo. Her vocal folds really come together and you get that nice tight, High chest belt quality. So nice. Uh, yeah, we got to give Jeff another pit fiber there because that's a really smooth transition down into subharmonics. <clears throat> the subs are something I'm not great at yet. You guys know I use the chest fry for most of my really low stuff. Um, I have subharmonic in a recording now down to a C1. Uh, that's in a cover coming out in August, which I'm very excited to release to you guys. But I'm still not nearly to the point where I can do... What does he do? He goes F sharp 2, C sharp 2 chest, and then flips down, so to speak, into subharmonics without a hitch. And, you know, this is this is the kind of control Jeff has. I think Tommy, Marwan, and Bobby can all do it. Um, they have that kind of control where they can really slip. Uh, Tu Yang is another guy, crazy sub harmonics. Um, these guys have so much control over their subs that they like. This wasn't done more than one take. I'm 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 99 sure Jeff did this baseline in. I mean, it might have taken him more than one try, but did it in one take, meaning they didn't have to splice audio together to make it happen. So let's hear that again, and Jeff, I'm going to give you a Pit Viper. My guy, I haven't given you a Pit Viper in a long time. So that's a switch from the original there. Um, and they do take a lot of liberties here compared to the original on the kind of melody they follow. The original uh, stays pretty similar throughout in terms of the melody they use throughout the verses. Um, now, I the original is my favorite song right now, period. It is my favorite song. I've been listening to it nonstop, even after making my own cover and hearing a million other covers and hearing that, hearing it a thousand times. It's still my favorite song. I cannot get enough of it. It's like perfect for what they're going for. Um, in voice plays version, they take a bit more artistic freedom here with the melodies. So I'll just kind of flag these changes, they, the big changes they make. Caesar, Caesar has the first one. Same. Same. New. So the first three iterations of that. Then the fourth one he changes. Da, 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 da. Then he changes it here, and Alexa I, just completely goes on her own path here, and it works. Show you what it's like. So she, 
The first half she stays in the rhythm while changing the melody. In the second half, she changes both the melody and the rhythm from the original. Oh, let's go back and hear it again. I like that they cut out the drums there for a second while that three-part harmony came in. I always thought this was such an interesting vowel choice. She makes gray. She goes straight to the like a very closed e. Greatest. Usually when people sing greatest, especially in middle to high chest range, they're gonna go great, great. A uh, much more open e vowel, but she chooses this very closed vowel. Uh, and sometimes when people will sing it, they'll close down to this vowel. Greatest. But she starts right on that, kind of the ending of that diphthong is what it's called. Great. Goes right to that closed E vowel. I always thought that was very interesting listening. Nice little riff. Interesting. There it is. Yeah, okay, we gotta talk about this section. Oh man, this is gonna be a long one. I'm gonna try and keep it under half an hour. Uh, so just wanna highlight, again, like I said earlier, perfect timbre for Ellie to get in his kind of rock belt with a bit of grit there. Bad word. Hey. But once you've turned the head. Such a good timbre for him, he's absolutely perfect to cover the lead singer of Imagine Dragons on this. Now let's see what, ha this next session's crazy. All right, woo, okay, hold up. All right, we have, we have that going on. We have Jeff going down to an F sharp one. We have Lane doing that, and there's a few background harmonies I won't highlight. Then we have this crazy sound effect coming up. So I don't know what that is. Even after watching this a bunch, I don't know what that is. It sounds like uh, it might be, I mean, it's clearly like a grunt, like a guttural kind of sound coming from someone's voice, and it might have been edited, and it sounds almost like it was modulated down to give it a more like, uh, uh, like dark kind of covered, uh, almost like sinister color. Hey. Jerry's out. <laughs> Jeff doing some crazy stuff. Lane going absolutely bonkers. Now this, I don't know. This might, I bet some of these Jeff might have chested. This one, that, this one sounds more chesty than the other ones. So, that sounds like a G1 chest. That sounds like a, that sounds like a, like a, like a typical thick G1 chest from Jeff. I could take an hour on this thing. I won't, but I, oh, I could, mm, there's, it's very creative. It's very well done. There's a lot of really awesome high belting going on here. Just listen to it on your own time. Listen to the background parts here. <laughs> very cool. Love this little section. Uh, you know, stripping things out for a second and then bringing stuff back in. It creates contrast. It creates, it makes it super interesting. It keeps us engaged. If it's the same thing over and over and over again, we get bored really fast. Humans, especially in 2022, get bored really fast. That's why TikTok and 10 second videos are so, so, so popular right now. It's hard to keep people's attention. So you've got to do stuff like this. And you know how much I talk about voice plays creativity. They're the most creative acapella group out there. No question. Shh. Ha, ha, ha. We get like a, a shh and an evil laugh from Jeff. Just 
Yeah. Come on, Jeff. Oh, the misery. B1 chest. Wants to be my enemy. B1 chest to F sharp one sub. Again, great control. That's why I'm giving him the Vipers. It's not like F sharp ones are all that uncommon in acapella or anything nowadays, especially when you're listening to someone like Jeff. But when you do it with a nice smooth transition, gotta give the Vipers. The misery. Everybody wants to be my enemy. Spare the sympathy. Everybody wants to be my enemy. Yeah. Uh. 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 Yeah, I think I think Alexa gets up to a B five there, almost a almost a soprano high C. Um, we get this, we get this nice classic, almost like EDM build up. Now, in my in my interpretation of this section is this is their kind of uh, consolation. It's their switch. It's their choice of removing the whole rap section from the original and making this the section of their own. That's my interpretation of it. Um, because it is, again, totally different. You don't get any of this in the original. Instead, after the second chorus, you would get the rap section. So instead, they do this section, then they bring back the chorus. Um, so I think that's, I mean, that's just what, just recognize it for what it is. This is their voice plays creative adjustment to what we hear in the original. Wants to be my enemy. Spare the sympathy. Everybody wants to be my enemy. I love the this. Whatever Alex is doing. Yes, okay, what is Lane doing? Sub sub subs from Jeff. Throat bass from Lane for a split second, I think. That first section, and then some very like deep throated drum sound effects. None of this is like here. It's all very guttural. Is that a snort? It's. Uh, it sounds like there's some kind of like deep nasal port action happening. I think that's a. I think that's like a like a snort. I mean, you can get bass. You can hear that in the mic. You can get bass doing that sound effect. I think that's what's happening. And, of course, there's some kind... I mean, if you do that on a mic, you have power to kind of manipulate it and make it bigger and thicker as it would be, you know, in a live setting. But I, I, I think it is some kind of snort that is very glorified. And, and, and it, I mean, a, a sound effect I've never heard, probably, in a cover... Um, so very, very cool. So I think he goes throat bass, some guttural drum hits, and then that's like snort, almost like pig sound. Jeez, up to an F sharp five from Ellie and some kind of, you know, powerful supported. It's not full chest. I don't think I genuinely don't think it's possible for a biological male to sing a chest, a chest, a full chest F sharp four. Even really high tenors, really high tenors. I talked to an opera say they experience that kind of resonance shift out of full chest at like a B four. And so there's no way that Ellie would get an entire fifth higher than that in full chest. Not possible. That's just biology. It's just physiology, um, which is an important part of the conversation when talking about human voice. Um, but an incredible, high, powerful mixed belt, I think, is what we're getting here. And really, this final section, I'm not going to take too long because I only have like a couple minutes left, um, is really 
it's it's the kind of it's the climax of everything. It's Lane going crazy. It's Jeff still slamming the bass. It's a ton of harmonies and high belting happening in the background. And what I suggest, if you're interested, is listen to this whole section and pay attention to a different person each time and go back and listen to it five times in a row and try to pick out all the nuance that each of them are doing because there's a lot going on here. Too much to get in 30 minutes, alas. And the choreo. Yes. So flag this. I love, I love, 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 love the change in drum beat and bass pattern. So, so cool. And again, it's a slight switch that instead of just repeating the same rendition of the chorus again, it switches up, the beat changes, the vibe changes, and it keeps it super fresh and interesting right to the very end. Heard of this? All in harmony there, not unison. Almost sounds like unison. It's not. They're harmonizing. Just want to get this belt here. B flat, C sharp, uh, E natural, then up to F sharp. Jeff says things something unintelligibly low. Which he gets pit fibers for. Oh. And that wraps it up. Oh boy. I think my camera, if it hasn't run out, probably is about to. Um, so you might just be listening to me at this point. But I think I got through almost all of it. So if you're still here, thank you so much. Wow, there's a lot to break down. And I am my own enemy in how much <laughs> I analyze things. Um, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Um, yeah, this, this whole last month has been Bass Gang, but now we're back to our regularly scheduled programming of Voice Play and Dimash and Nightwish and Jeff and all these great artists that I'm sure you guys are missing hearing about on my channel. But I promise we're getting back to that very soon. I'm going to wrap it up, guys. Hope you really enjoyed this. Hope you learned something. Like, subscribe, comment, check out the Patreon for for some very special benefits, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.